Hi, I'm Stephen Green and this is the entrance to the proposed West Ham Mega Mosque. Now if the trustees of this site have their way, there will be a place of worship here which would be bigger than any other in Europe, accommodating between 10,000 and 40,000 worshippers, and according to their architects, the size of Battersea Power Station. Well, in December 2012, Newham Council refused planning permission for the project, saying it would be against community cohesion and would be divisive. Well, the trustees appealed to, uh, to the planning inspectorate, and Eric Pickles, the Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government, called the decision in to make it himself. The site looks like what it is, just a collection of old office buildings connected actually with an old chemical works which used to be on the site. And the ground is said to be so heavily contaminated it's going to cost millions to clean up, something which should be giving the mosque trustees some pause for thought. Going further back, the whole area used to be a monastery and uh, the monks would have, would have been farming everything here from wheat and barley to vegetables, from, and farming animals, everything from beef to bacon. There has been a Christian Voice prayer meeting on this site on the first Saturday of every month since January 2007. So we're now in our ninth year of praying here. At that time, the trustees were hoping and aiming and stating that they would have their mosque up in time for the London 2012 Olympics. That's been and gone and it's still the same as it was. So we give God all the glory for the confusion and the setbacks that have dogged the project. But it's nice to know our prayers have had an impact. Eric Pickles was due to make his decision in March 2015, but with the general election being held next month in May, he's put it off. To be blunt, he's flunked it. Could that be anything to do with a group of radical Muslims, an anti-Muslim hatred group, set up by Baroness Worsley and advising the government inside the Department for Communities and Local Government itself? It includes Mudassa Ahmed, whose PR company, Unitas Communications, helped set up a support body called the New and People's Alliance to campaign for the Mega Mosque. So what of the group behind the proposed Mega Mosque? Well, they're called Tabliki Jamaat. They're based in Pakistan, but the name is Arabic and it means a group delivering a message. The message, of course, is one of Muslim purity and supremacy. French intelligence called them an antechamber of fundamentalism. And it's been estimated that some 80% of French radicalized Muslims are associated with Tabliki Jamaat. Here in the UK, Richard Reid, the shoe bomber, other prospective airline terrorists, and Mohammed Sadiq Khan, the leader of the 7th July London bombers, worshipped in their Dewsbury Mosque, which is their current UK HQ. But they want this site to be their new European headquarters. Frankly, this needs to be an election issue. Ask your prospective parliamentary candidates where their party stands. Will they allow the appeal by these fundamentalists to build the West Ham Mega Mosque or not? And don't be put off by any talk that this is a quasi-judicial decision. If that is so, why did Eric Pickles flunk it just before the election? And above all, we need to pray. Come down here and join us on the first Saturday of every month. Jesus Christ is King of Kings and the Almighty rules in the affairs of men. And by coming here to pray, we show the Almighty that our prayer is serious. And if this mega mosque is not going to be built, and if our nation is to honour Jesus Christ again in this land, it will need to be.